What is a JIS screwdriver? And should you have one in your toolbox? Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Whether you're a DIY, do-it-yourself type person and wrench in your garage or work on things around your house, most of us own a Phillips screwdriver or the like and it's in your toolbox on a regular basis. When you're wrenching on uh, certain items in your home or on your bikes or cars, have you ever noticed that your uh, Phillips screwdriver keeps slipping out of the slots, mangling up the head of the screw? There's a reason for that and I'll explain why. Before we talk about the GIS screwdriver and why you need one, let's talk about the history of screwdrivers for a very brief moment. In 1906, a Canadian by the name of P.L. Robertson invented the Robertson screw. It basically was a panhead or flathead screw that had a square bit and it could be used with an Allen wrench and proved to be very uh, productive on being able to get more torque to cinch the screw down from your standard slots which have been around uh, since around the 1400s they were invented. P.L. Robertson was very protective of his uh, patent rights to that screw that he developed at the turn of the century in the 1900s. That left an opening in the market uh, here in the United States so a gentleman by the name of Henry F. Phillips bought the design for the self-centering screw and uh, he in turn developed the cross or what's known as the Phillips screw to this day and that is uh, pretty much industry standard here in the United States. Robertson's screws made such an impact when Henry Ford switched over to using them on his Model T cars it changed the uh, hours of labor to produce each Model T car by two hours. It saved Henry Ford, so it had a profound impact on the automobile industry here in the United States. So then the Japanese started to uh, design their own slotted screws and screwdrivers without influence of Mr. Phillips. Mr. Phillips owned the rights to the screw design though. Phillips screws in the United States during the Industrial Revolution here in the United States were being mass produced at very good tolerances, uh, but they were uh, definitely mass produced and not every screw was the same. Under high torque, the Phillips screwdriver will slip out and that was causing damages. So the Japanese took a different take on that. In Japan, they have a committee called the Japanese Industrial Standards Committee and they decided that the Phillips screw and screwdriver was unacceptable. The result is the JIS screwdriver. It changed manufacturing in Japan. They were able to apply high torque to these screws, slotted screws, on their production of their vehicles, appliances, whatever they use these screws for, and were able to get high torque settings on them and secure the screws much better than Phillips screw. That is still true to this day. And the Japanese are credited for developing this screw and screwdriver and increasing the efficiency of their work. Do you really need a JIS screwdriver? The best way to answer that question is, uh, do you want to continue damaging screw heads? Pro tip here, the JIS screwdriver works in both standard Phillips screws and JIS screws. Now, how can you tell if a screw is a JIS screw. It's real simple. They have a dot printed on uh, stamped into every single one of their screws. Now where are you likely to find these screws? On every single Japanese bike made. If you're tearing apart uh, any type of Japanese appliance, television, Hitachi, Toshiba, whatever, they all use JIS screws and screwdrivers. So it would behoove you to have one of these in your toolbox. I'll post some pictures up here, but you can see the differences in the uh, screws and how they seat inside the actual screw of a Phillips screw head versus a JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard screw. And they have a much different uh, depth that the uh, tip of the screwdriver goes in. Of course, they come in a number of different sizes to suit your project, from very tiny ones to much larger screws as well. I have several complete sets of JIS screwdrivers. As I said, they work on both my uh, American bike as well as my Japanese bike. 
and they perform much better than a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. The uh, brand that I choose to go with is uh, Vessel. Vessel is the oldest screwdriver manufacturer in Japan. They started up their company in 1916 and they're still going strong today. And this particular one, you can find it on Amazon. I'll have a link down below if you would like one. You should have a, at least have one in your toolbox. This one I've had for over 10 years and the tip is flawless. And you take a look at this uh, Sears Craftsman. This one's so old, it was made in America and the tip is chewed up. A different standard of quality and production of the tool. What I particularly like about this one is it has a steel head on the back and what it is, it acts as an impact driver. So if you have a stuck screw, Phillips or JIS, put this screwdriver in it, hit it with a hammer, the, the uh, shaft compresses into the handle and it rotates the screwdriver 12 degrees. So you can, uh, just back it out, tapping a hammer on this screwdriver, and it helps you get a uh, problematic screw out. Highly recommend this screwdriver. Again, I'll have it linked down below if you have any interest. Before you go out and buy another set of Phillips screwdrivers, think long and hard. Look into GIS. Maybe try one for $10, $15 on Amazon and use it and see what you think about this. For me, personally, for Kraken, it, it was a game changer on my wrenching in my garage, as well as all my DIY projects around the house. I hope you learned something today and uh, broaden your horizon on uh, making it a more pleasurable experience on working on your bikes. Thank you for joining me today. And remember folks, go riding because it's good for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.